friends welcome to the seated scribe a channel where we discuss pens and writing and i am rudrashish dotto friends as i had already informed you in the introductory words of my episode last sunday from this week onwards we shall be presenting two weekly episodes on wednesdays and sundays on sundays we shall stick to unboxing and reviewing new pens and on wednesdays beginning today we shall review a pen from my collection which is at least 2 years old and have been used regularly till this date the primary reason why i wish to review elaborately pens which are in active use for at least 2 years is to look at the instrument as it had survived existential challenges such as falls hits knocks temperature variations moisture exposure and many other routine adversities in everyday use and at the same time still maintains its basic functionality of turning words on a page with no fuss or issues i guess this would give viewers the power to form perspectives on each of these pens a power that often stands users in good stead as they get across such a pen or even think of buying one for today's review friends i have a parker duo fold centennial in black pearl version as they call it with two toned medium nib which i had bought way back in 2018 and which still gives flawless service to this day irrespective of the paper i choose to write with so friends without any further delay let us go to the parker duo fold centennial in black pearl medium nibbed version which is 5 years old well friends this is the parker duo fold centennial in what they call the black pearl version with a two toned medium nib uh, which i had bought uh, way back in 2018 and at that time uh, this pen clearly served as my quote unquote grail pen and even today uh, when i use this pen under everyday writing circumstances it gives me a flawless writing experience and uh, well to look at the pen in some detail after 5 years of active use so the cap as it stands let me unscrew it yes the cap as it stands is uh, without any scratches as such which are visible there may be micro scratches but this is one of the reasons why i was attracted to this pen is the polish sheen that uh, you can perhaps make out from any angle with light so this was one issue that attracted me immediately to this uh, duo fold centennial classically parker duo folds uh, are essentially black pens in gold trims so this was a pleasant departure for which i bought it way back in 2018 and the finial at the top is it well it carries the duo fold letter letters and the duo fold logo as you can see but uh, there is one issue which uh, i thought of then as odd Uh, it's more of an aesthetic than an utilitarian issue the top pointed end of duo fold is bent right clockwise to around 15 to 20 degrees from the middle of the clip which i felt they would have done well to match it to give some sense of proportion but nevertheless this was how i got it 
uh, it never bothered me since I it uh, never affected my writing in any way and so this is the finial it's shiny gold and the clip is not a spring loaded clip but nevertheless it's uh, quite functional there are two bands gold bands at this end and this is quite a formidable resin and it has survived numerous falls from my desk even on the road from my pocket so quite clearly this is a no-nonsense heavy duty cap and well the cream of this acquisition is obviously the pen now Parker duofold nibs are clearly collectors items as you can see uh, they are longish they are two-toned with 18 karat gold nibs let me see if I can focus it for you yes so there is a Parker duofold written here and 18k followed by 750 so this is the inscribed declaration that this is an 18 karat gold nib well it's clearly a beauty to watch the etchings the inscriptions and the design and this is a medium as you can see the feed too has a unique design of its own it's slightly concave at this end and then it tapers down to meet the nib somewhere here as you can see we have an M punched on it indicating that the nib is medium well the gripping section is also unique if it begins with a flare the flare continues for around three to four millimeters after which there is a gradual step down and a step up to this part which is actually carrying the threads of the cap this is the broadest point after which there is a slight tapering but not too much of a tapering to this end where we have a flat black shiny black finial so this is the pen by the way this is not functional as such since this is not a piston type pen but is converter type so once we open up this part we find there is a continuous and quite a solid gold plated metal which actually houses the duo fold converter now i have used this converter from day one with numerous inks both pigmented inks as well as water based inks and it remains flawless to this day and significantly significantly fills almost the entire thing with one pull so this is one issue which uh, is unique uh, even after fifth year of active use so everything about this pen speaks of both a formidable quality as well as an eye towards aesthetics so this is the pen and for some of you who may be wondering about its size and girth i feel since these are above average sized pens i'll be placing this pen side by side with some other common pens so that you can form an opinion this is a typical jotter pen from parker this is the parker or rather the pilot high tech point 
this is the Lamy 2000 and this is the Twisby Eco. Well, so clearly the duo fold is longish and has a formidable shape to announce its uniqueness so this is with regard to the size of the pen now i'll be inking this pen up with the imperial blue version of diamine and see how the pen writes in ordinary ATGSM paper. For regular Parker Duofold users, as you may know, Parker Duofold is usually sold in mediums across the world and the mediums are slightly wider and wetter than the usual mediums. And I tend to believe that paper has a role to play in the experience of a Parker Duofold. The reason being, if the paper is already soaked up in some amount of moisture, that is if the paper is uh, maybe a couple of months or even longer old, there will be a tendency to soak in ink from the pen to the page, making the letters wetter and wider than usual. So let me see how this pen fares under actual writing circumstances. Well friends, I have inked up this pen with Jamin Imperial Blue. This is the ink that I normally use to ink up this duo fold because the pen is slightly on the drier side. The ink is slightly on the drier side and this may perhaps to some extent control the extent to which the ink is delivered on paper because this as I've said is wider than the normal medium in terms of letter width but nevertheless since I use I prefer to use pens which are slightly wider in diameter paper permitting I would be using this. So let me use this pen on a page that is 70 GSM and see how it actually fares. As you can see friends, it delivers quite a lot of ink on the paper. Some of the users of Duofold, Duofold often tell that it is a fire hose but nevertheless that is how it is. The pen is a black pearl version with a two-toned nib. And the ink is Diamine Imperial Blue. Well, with regard to its wetness, as I've said, this pen has the reputation, jokingly, of being a fire hose. So you can see that the pen is fairly wet but it will perform better if an ink which is on the drier side is used. Now with regard to the line width variations this is a stiff nib so there have been no scope whatsoever of any line width variations other than the slightly zoomed shape of the nib, uh, nib point which actually brings in a slight even a minor, if I may call, 
variation between the slant strokes and the down strokes the down strokes are a bit thicker or wider than the slant strokes but i don't think this will serve an effective calligraphy use but that is how the nib is made now with regard to how smooth the experience is the experience is very smooth except for the occasional feedback that this pen offers it's a no it's not a disturbing feedback it's it's a feedback that um, is often reassuring to fountain pen users i don't know whether my microphone is catching this but this is the feedback that this pen offers just a reassuring hint that a nib is actually moving over paper so friends this is the duo fold centennial in black pearl version as i have said the primary reason why i got attracted to this pen five years back is its design and its shimmer and the second reason is that the other duo fold that i have which is in the classical black version it is this pen is similar to that in terms of a feel of robustness so this is the <coughs> sorry pearl black black pearl rather version for you now I understand that this pen is no longer in production today and I don't know whether it is available uh, in through any sellers who may have uh, unsold pens but Parker duo folds are generally they do not remain unsold for more than six to eight months after it, if it comes to a seller so I don't know whether you will get it but if you get it and if you wish to acquire it uh, this is a pen that can be acquired and there are two issues with regard to this pen which I'd like to point out I have never faced this issue before in the five years of use the first issue is some users complain that the threads which actually bind the barrel with the cap flattens and the pen somehow or the other slips out very often i have never had this with regard to this pen i have threaded and unthreaded this numerous times in the last five years they are fairly locked when threaded so this is one issue the other issue is that many users complain that this part of the band the gold colored band and this part which usually remains in direct contact with the surface as you can see usually gain some form of noticeable scratches but i have never used a pen pouch for this one we hardly detect any noticeable scratches there may be minor scratches but not noticeable scratches at this end and this end of uh, duo fold so i am not sure as to how the other users actually use the pen or took care of the pen with regard to this but mine have been in direct use and without any protection whatsoever in terms of pouches and this remains fairly shiny as new so this is the parker duo fold centennial in black pearl version with a two-toned medium nib for you i hope you have enjoyed this experience and next sunday we'll be back with another unboxing and review of a new pen.
थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स फॉर वॉचिंग कीप सेफ एंड गुड बाय